Oh, oh, right there. Get him, get him, get him. That's the one. Hey folks, Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors, and on today's video, we'll be hitting the high river after some wintertime blue cats with some really good buddies of mine. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that notification bell. I try to put out new videos just like this each and every week. So let's get out there and start putting fish in the boat. I broke one of these. Hey, there he goes. There he goes. Get him, Skip. Get him. You're right there, there son. Fish, fish number one. There we go. That's not the red and white one I was wanting to see go down, but we'll like take it. it. What do you got there, Skip? I don't know. Come on, call it. We got, we got some. It's not crazy current right here where we're at, but it's decent. He's got a little bit pull on him. Yeah. He ain't no little fella, I don't think. I think you might be in your line. Yeah. Name and yeah, move something. Doing. Your outside line. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, if you go up over me, maybe. I'm seeing lots of fish going by us. Both sides, mostly towards the bank. Got a little mud on him. The old pink demon dragon. Now, Skip. I you, told you I caught you it. You just said it right there just a minute ago. He I likes those pink ones. Pinky in the shad, buddy. It never fails. Pinky in the shad. That could be a cartoon. First fish of the trip right here. Come on. Hey, oh, oh, right there. Get him, get him, get him. That's the one. That's the one. Pulled a little drag. Woo! <laughs> it didn't have a lot of drag on. You need some help with that one? I don't think I can get him or not. I was going to get them grippers. Oh, okay. Bite me. I can get them. You got bigger? You got mad. You need that one in the Oh, you either getting into this one or I got another fish. This other rod here. Okay. Wow, it just got hit. It's not this. There ain't no way. Boy, he was hooked good though. Something that was just in the bottom. Too. What hooks you got there? Uh, they're, uh, I get them at Walmart, Team Catfish, but I'm pretty okay. sure they're Same thing. Diachis. Yeah. 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 Nice. The Hold that thing up there for me. First fish of the trip. This one's smaller than you. Yeah, baby. Nice, baby. Does that have nice. a scale on it? Does that have a scale on it? Uh, I think it does. Does this scale work, Zach? Which one? This no, one? I don't oh, trust that. Don't trust it. Oh. Is it? Don't trust it. Oh. Don't trust it. Oh, it says, uh, well, it was up to 10, but it keeps going box. down. The one in the glove box is accurate. Nine pounds. You got it? Turn yeah. around for the camera. <laughs> yeah. Well, right here. That one. This, yeah, one. this one. Yeah. <laughs> nice little double there. There we go. Get him back. That's the way to start the day. Yes, it is. All right. All right, buddy. Go grow up. Isn't that fun? Heck yeah. Isn't that fun? Now, as you guys can probably already see, the water conditions are not favorable at all. We're dealing with some high water, muddy water, and some really trashy water. But what I want you guys to notice in particular is kind of how close to the trees that we're fishing. Where we're fishing at here, there's a lot of fish right on that edge. There's a lot of bait that has pushed up into those trees, and this is some slacker water. 
Let's get back after them, see if we can't put a couple more fish in the boat. I bet that stinks happening. Oh, these are nice, these, these hooks. Right there, right there, get it. Right there, that rod of mine. Get it. Get him. Get him, You're up. Chris. <laughs> You're up. Get him. Come on, get him, he's hooked. Oh, goodness. Get that's try that bigger fish. Well, it's your turn. You're in the other rod, too. Is this other uh, camera on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Might be into that one. If we need to pull right in, you just tell you just tell us what you want us to do. I ain't gonna get in your way. I can't believe I'm taking somebody's fish. Oh now. <laughs> That's your fish. We'll take him though. That's what it was. See, he knew he he knows it's a, a I just, he knows he, it ain't a big one. He was waiting on he the big one. Yeah, That's what it is. <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to take it. <laughs> that thing didn't peel enough drag. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. I guess about the same size that one uh a little seven pounder. Yeah. yeah. Nice fish, though. Old half, the old half float. The old half float. Half float. That's two on half floats. Um, oh, here we got one over here. Right here. Got a double again. No, I don't want it. Nice. With pizza in his mouth. With <laughs> Don't get no better than that, does it? No, it doesn't. Only they can get better is if we get another one. Yep. Get a triple. Get a triple. Hey, we're out. Hey, what are you doing? You Go. Yeah. Why? Let me get you a picture. Yeah. Well, let's wait and get. we'll get uh, double with you guys. we got a bunch of trash on this side. Yeah, this anyway. one we do, don't we? This one looks small. It's actually wow. on that out. Oh, it's on that outside rod and it brought him into the other. What are you doing here? Is he getting bigger? Yep, he is. He is. We're gonna need that. Mm -hmm. now, now, here's the here's the thing. If you call for a net and it's not big enough for a net, you get shamed the rest of the day. <laughs> you know, I don't want no net. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want no net yet. <laughs> he, he don't, he don't need that. Oh, you need you need some. <laughs> I think it's mainly on this one. About the same size. Yeah. Get the pizza out of my mouth. Yeah, that's looking good. There we go. Three and four, folks. <laughs> double, double. Down. It's a double, double. So the main current in the main section of the river is about four miles an hour. And that is really, really fast for this area of water. Now, where we're fishing at specifically, we're finding that slower current, those current seams that are right along that bank. These fish, as that water is coming up, these fish are coming over closer to the bank. Now, it's on a really high rise. And something that I like to pay attention to and really take advantage of is that water, as it comes in or comes up before it crests and goes out of its banks, those fish are really tucked up onto the bank really tight. I like to take advantage of this, but we're finding areas that we can use about an eight ounce lead, and we got about a mile and a half of current, maybe two miles an hour right there where we're at. Now we still got to deal with a lot of trash, but it's a little bit slower of a current and just a little bit cleaner of a current. Let's get back after it. What we got going on right here? What's it mean when it does that? That's the way that other one hit. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, we got another fish, he's on. Got another fish. Another fish. Well, I tell you what, it's been a good morning already, ain't it? Yes, it has. Gosh. And I tell you what, I left the house this morning. Turn that, turn that motor over that way just a little bit. We're, we're getting out from the bank. I uh, left the house this morning. I thought, man, it's gonna be a tough morning fishing, but it's been pretty daggone good already. Well, Three mile hour current makes them fish feel good, oh, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, makes them feel real good. He's gonna try to cross everybody up. I'm under you. Go ahead. Put it back uh, down. I think, I think you're over top. Oh, okay, you're doing that. Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, let me 
you bring them up by the motor, go ahead and lift that rod up. There you go. There you go. Big log. I think I'm off of it. Okay. Big log. Man, go ahead and probably want to bring up there in. Because there's a log coming. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think you're going to clear. That's All fish right. number hey. seven. He felt like he could have been 15 pounds <laughs> at one point. Yeah. I ain't kidding. So today's bait of choice was cut gizzard shad. Now we did catch some really big, nice cutter gizzard shad, but today it didn't seem like they really wanted that big bait. As you can tell, we're cutting some small baits. Now we were throwing some bigger heads out there as well, but those small baits really seem to be key today. And that's something you guys want to pay attention to as you're out there fishing. Let the fish kind of tell you what they want. If they're not hitting big baits, cut them down. Make these changes rather quickly. Uh, that's one thing you guys want to pay attention to as soon as you start getting bites. Are they keying in on small baits, big baits, certain cuts of baits, or even certain kinds of bait? Contracts done then, or get that agreement or something. He, goes. he keeps pulling with it, does he's going, he's taking it? He's taking her south, baby. There he, he is. is. <laughs> I think we got one. That's what I like. Sit up and start catching. Watch. Holy cow, boys. Huh? We got something here? Yeah, we did. We got one. I told you there was a good one. Line. We got a real one. We got a we real got one. We got a real one. <laughs> All right. And he's heading out to the current. He's heading over that way. We just changed spots. Rivers, you guys can see, it's raging. We got how much current we have this morning? 4.3. 4.3. He's going to get some lines. Yeah, this is a decent fish. He ain't no little one. Well, we marked this fish. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna think that this is one we marked. Well, sure. We <laughs> I know it is. What else could it be? We only marked uh, one really good fish. We marked some other fish, smaller fish back there, too. But uh, hey, this one was right on the back side of my hand. This is a big fish. I don't know if I told you that, but he, he, he's a decent one. What is it? He's decent. He's de now, wait a second. He's now. big. He's big. Okay. He's big. He's big. He ain't no uh, little guy. I'm trying to keep him out of this this line here. To the, yours. You want me to reel it in? Uh, no, he's past it now. Oh, okay. I thought he was. Uh, here he goes. He ain't no 10 pounder, I don't think. No, he's, uh, he's pulling down pretty good, isn't he? Yeah, and they, they we're in slack pretty, I mean, you see the current's not very fast here. No. Like, no. compared to everything else. Everything, all the fish that we're catching today have come in slacker water. Not slack water, but lesser current. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Get him. Oh, Get him. Oh, oh, my goodness, Skip. Get him, son. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a double there now. Doubled up on the High River Blue Cats. We're going to need the net. Oh, I think we, we might have another good one. He says we're gonna need the net, so I better put the camera up. Oh my. Yeah, he's got a big one too, bud. I haven't seen him. Oh, he ain't as big as I thought. <laughs> he ain't no 30 or nothing. I thought he was bigger than that. I did too. He's a fighter, isn't he? He is. This is a fighter too. On the old double Man, hook I thought that was well, That's a nice fish. I know, but I thought it was 25, 30 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, he might be. I don't know. We'll see what he weighs. Uh, he's probably 15, 18 pounds. Yeah, them things like they really fall through the net well. Yes, they do. <laughs> All right. Let's get him out of the net. We'll go from there. There you go. Kick. You're kicked out. I got the net. I got the okay. You take care of that, and I'll help skip with this one back here. Got Skip, did you eat your Wheaties today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to get anything out of the way? You no, just let he's me know. coming. 
or you know, he's staying right in between these lines so far. Now he's trying to go cut over that way. Man, Man those Diachi hooks. It's like he's staying down. That's good. Really, really work good. Love it. Looks like a flathead or something. He just sat there for a minute. He came up once, but then he dove back down. That's a tree limb, is it? Huh? It's a tree limb, is it? I sure hope not. <laughs> Now I felt him. I felt him head shaking. Now we ain't been here but maybe what five minutes? No, not even five minutes, maybe two minutes. We haven't even got the first story told. Yeah, we haven't got that's where that's what <laughs> hey, that's the way I'm gonna start timing my uh how many stories? <laughs> yeah, how many stories? This is a five story spot here. <laughs> What's your way? He's big as I thought. No, he ain't no tree limb. 12 pounds. 12 pounds. Look he back got, there. He ain't got a big gun. Oh, he ain't no tree yeah. limb. Look at that big tail coming up back there like Shamu Well. <laughs> Maybe this is the one we marked back there. Hey, I think it is. It ain't this. Because what we marked was bigger than that. Yeah, this I one. I do believe. This one I think is a little bit bigger than that. <laughs> He's acting like it. But he ain't, he ain't. I no see mud on his left, his left side's got mud all I over. I think it's that current. It's like we're right in a. There's, there's current seat. Yeah, there's seams within this where we're at. It changes. Yep, he did. Man, two netable fish in a row. Woohoo! Leading like a dog. Oh, yeah, he's way bigger than that. Yeah, yeah, the Archie hook. All right, we're supposed to be in. That, oh, that's pinky, baby. Hey, that's the one we marked. Give me some. That's the one we marked. <laughs> there now. That's not bad fish either. Heck no, buddy. That's a nice fish. That's a good double. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it's all doubles. about. Three right. doubles. There we go. That's the double that we had on. Yeah. You guys ready to return them loose? Yep, yep. All right, let's, let's get them back in the water. You want to get a return? Okay, you're busy on Yep. Twenty-five. Come on, Pinky in the shad. There he goes. There he goes. This guy's fine. He's biting down on me and everything. Uh, Twelve. Come on, double hook Kentucky rig. Yep. Ouch. <laughs> there you go. Got you ready. Nice. All right, folks. Real quick, I'm gonna share a couple of the rigs that we was using today. Now, this first rig. It's just a three-way style rig. Now I have it tied up with 50 pound main line down to the double barrel swivel style of three-way with a fast snap just to get my sinkers on and off there really fast and easy. Got about 20 inches of heavy cover 80 pound leader line from Slime Line down to a Diachi D85. That's a seven knot. That was the first rig and we, we caught fish on that rig but this next rig and this style of rig is what we really caught most of our fish on today. And that is just a Santee style of rig. Now they really like, liked it up off the bottom. Now this one is has a little dropper loop just to help it get uh, even farther up off the bottom. And this is about a 10 inch dropper loop off my three way. And I got about two and a half to three foot of leader line on this one. Now here we have a Slunger Cat Edition Demon Dragon but we also had some peg floats out there as well. And then I had about six to eight inches from the peg float or Demon Dragon to the Diachi D85 hook. Now both these rigs really played a key in catching fish, but that Santee style of rig is the one that really caught most fish. And that's something you guys wanna pay attention to. If you notice that quick enough, you can kind of cater to that and switch your rigs over to help you catch more fish as you go throughout the day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I can't thank Zach and Skip enough for getting me out on the water with them. And we had a lot of fun on the high river, flooded, but we caught some fish. It was trashy, but it was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And until next time, God bless, and we'll catch you on the water. Thanks for watching.